Hello, everyone. So, today, I'm gonna recommend some Doctor Who books that are very good if you're new to the Doctor Who books or wanna get into the Doctor Who books. Um, just one thing before I start, if you wanna see what Big Finish audios I'd recommend if you're new to Big Finish, click right there on the screen and um, it'll take you to that. Um, anyways, so, um, to that video. So, for the first Doctor, it's, this is gonna be structured in the same way. For the first Doctor, I have a few books I'd recommend. The first one being Empire of Glass. This book is great, like really, really phenomenal. Um, it's a sort of pseudo-historical, it does feature aliens, but um, yeah. So it's about this sort of peace conference that's going on in um, Venice in the 1600s, and it features Galileo and the first Doctor, Stephen and, and Vicky. I mean, this is great, it, it really is. Um, it features another Time Lord, which it's a Time Lord everyone loves. So, yeah, this is a very, very good book, a solid 9.5 out of 10, one of the best Doctor Who books I've read so far. I'd highly recommend it. Um, the next one is the, is the Witch Hunters. For me, this was overrated, but I did enjoy it. It was overrated, but I did really, really enjoy it. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. So I would recommend it, because I did like it, and most people seem to adore it. So, yeah, I, I mean, it was a good read, it really was. The next one is one which um, was the first book I ever read. Unfortunately, I don't have the original copy anymore because I gave that to Cameron or Doctor Forever at Dimensions. But um, yeah, I still have the reprint, um, which is Ten Little Aliens. This is a good book. Yeah, it's very good. It's a bit too long and it seems to drag a bit towards the end. But I mean, it's still a very enjoyable book and I would recommend it. I really would recommend it. So um, yeah. It's easy to get hold on as well, because they did reprint it back in 2013, but I would recommend getting the original. I, I miss my original copy. Anyways, so, for the second Doctor, we have quite a few as well. Uh, the first one I'd recommend is The Murder Game. Again, I found this one overrated. It's still good, but it was overrated. Very good book. Very, very good book. Just overrated. Um, the Salations are, again, overrated, but it's a good book, and most people seem to adore it. So I would still recommend it, because it is still very good. I would give this one about an 8 out of 10. So it's still a very good book. Um, the next one is a very underrated book, in my opinion. It's really a gem, this one. Um, it's Invasion of the Cat People. This is just very, very good. I really did enjoy this one. The characterization was phenomenal. The Cat People were... A bit odd, but um, apart from that, this is a very, very, very good book, uh, which I think you would, well, I don't know, I personally enjoyed it. It doesn't really suit, fit into the 60s, though, but um, still a very good book. So, for the third Doctor, unfortunately, I haven't really read any good third Doctor books, so I can't recommend any. Yeah, that's a shame. Anyway, so for the fourth Doctor, I've read one good book only. But that one was just amazing, though. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The only good Fourth Doctor book is amazing. Well, I haven't read all of them, but I've read two Fourth Doctor books. Three, actually, but yeah. So, it is Evolution. This book is just really good. Dark as hell, and it just fits very well into the sort of Hinchcliffe era, right? Very good. Um. It's quite dark as well, because it's about this madman who turns children into mermaids using, like, this sort of chemical that he found in a sort of root and spacecraft. Uh, like, it's, it's, it's very, very good. Very dark. And very good. I would really, really recommend this one. Very, very good book. I think most people would probably like this one. It's very overlooked as well. But it's a great, it's a great, a great, great, great book. You need to read this one. Really, really good book. So for the fifth Doctor, I have two. Um, two books I'd recommend. The first one is Goth Opera. Um, this is an interesting one. It's not amazing, but it's very, very interesting. Um, it's about Nyssa being turned into a vampire. And, uh, well, for the first half of the story, she tries to hide it. But then later on, you know, the Doctor finds out and they see more vampires. And they, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit difficult to explain, but it's kind of like connected to one of the new adventures as well, uh, called Blood Harvest. So, um, yeah, I haven't read that one, though, but um, 
I was able to understand this one, even though I hadn't read the other ones. So um, this is a good one. I would recommend this one. For the um, another one I recommend would be um, Lords of the Storm. The Chantarans aren't too good in this one, but the book itself is enjoyable. Um, yeah, the book itself is, itself is very enjoyable, and it does retcon the uh, shakedown of Chantarans, which is very nice, very very nice. But yeah, this is a good, a good book. I would recommend it. Um, for the sixth Doctor. Well, uh, unfortunately, my dad has decided to read that one, so I can't show it to you right in, in, in real life, but there's a picture on it on the screen. It's called Play Us, and it's very good. My dad is currently reading it, so it's, a, it's at his house, unfortunately. But hey, I mean, my, I got my dad to read a Doctor Who book, so that's always something. Yeah. Anyways, for the seventh Doctor, I am... Um, oh, this is a very good one. Relative Dimentias. God, this is so dark. It really fits into the um, Seventh Doctor era. It's a great, great bleak story about Alzheimer patients. Well, weird stuff happening with them. Um, it's very mysterious, and it really does fit into the sort of McCoy era. Ace and uh, the Seventh Doctor are very good in this, and the characters are good. Like, I think this is just a very good book. Yeah, very good book. For the Eighth Doctor, I have a few... As you know what I think about Paul McGann. The first one, of course, being the amazing, phenomenal, and awesome Crooked World. The cover is a bit odd, I know, but I mean, I did really enjoy this book. It's, um, yeah, it's good. Um, it's, it's very, very good. It's about, like, sort of the Doctor and Jen Fitz land in this sort of cartoon world where they don't really, where the people don't really understand the concept of death, but then the Doctor introduces them to it, and, um, Stuff gets messed up. I did review this one last year, so there'll probably be a link to that on the screen right now. The next Eighth Doctor book is um, another one I reviewed back in August, I think, which is uh, another very good book, uh, which is The Return of the Psyguns as well, which is The Body Snatchers. Um, yeah, this is good. Very good book. I'd give this about an 8 out of 10. I think you should read this one. Um, it's, it's not too rare, so it's easy to pick up. It's about the Saigons, you know, it's, it's a Saigon story in, in um, Victorian London, which is good. And again, I did review this one read, well, a while back, so there'll be a link to that on the screen right now. Then the last book I'd recommend, before we go into the books that I wouldn't recommend, would be The Eight Doctors. This beauty. Um, it's not amazing. It really isn't. It, it's very flawed. But I think I, I just really enjoyed this book. It's fun. I think you would... It's just a very, very fun book. It's 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 just fun. That's how, how, how I describe it. There's a link to my old review um, of it on the screen right now. Anyways, so for the books you should avoid, because there's a few. The first one you should just keep away from... This, this is just the worst of the worst, by the way. So the first one you should really keep away from is um, Venusian Lullaby. Jesus Christ, this is odd. This is odd as fuck. Like, just, you should not read this book. It's messed up, it's odd, and it's very awful. It's, ugh, this is just, I did not enjoy this book. I did not. Really, I really did not. Um, the next one you should just keep away from is The Ultimate Evil, just cause, God, this one's horrible, really bad, like, stupid, and not the story I had expected it to be, which is fine, but I mean, it's very short as well, so it doesn't really have time to flesh out it, any of the characters, and the ending is just beyond horrible, like, so bad. Uh, so the next book you should keep away from is Iceberg. God, this book looks amazing, doesn't it, with the Cyberman and all that? Yeah. Guess what? It's awful. It's bloody awful. Uh, the Doctor is hardly in it. The Cybermen get in get introduced at page 200, and nothing happens in the book. It's just about a woman on a cruise ship. Yeah, a woman on a ship. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that, that's what I call a good Cyberman book. Then the I have another one, which isn't necessarily bad. It's just obscure as fuck. I, I enjoyed the first half a lot. Really, I did. But um, it got... Art later on. It's um, 
Wolfsbane. The book itself is fine, especially the first half. The first half is very good and enjoyable, but the ending, the ending in the last half is just terrible, though. Like, really terrible. Like, especially the ending. The ending is so bad. Like, the last few lines are beyond terrible. They're so bad they want to make me scream. God. I don't know. You can read it if you want to. I, I wouldn't not recommend it, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, I don't know. I just thought I'd mention it, because it's the most obscure book I've ever read. So I'd say, probably you should probably keep away from it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for me, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye, everyone.